Her tongue out in concentration, Kia selects glass beads to start her creation on the large backdrop. The placing of the beads is a deliberate act. She sprinkles them first from her fist, then using her fingers, she changes both the space between and the order of the beads for the desired effect. She switches from man-made to natural resources, adjusting the initial positioning of the wood and selecting a circle to complement the one she placed earlier. Casting an eye over the black stones, she chooses two for a particular purpose. Grabs handfuls for another and stretches her hand for the next. The arrangement in a straight line needs additional stones, selected one by one, to complete the line precisely, a technique that suits the formation of a second line. The first line is adapted. It is too spread out, so Kia eliminates the gaps and gets more stones to fill the space. Kia rarely speaks in her concentrated creativity, but lets her audience in on the next part of her plan. The final sprinkling of stones giving the head ears and a generous tuft of hair. Whilst Kia created, Mariam watched, absorbed whilst waiting for her turn. Her technique is different, sitting in the middle of the creative space and choosing previously unexplored resources the twigs deliberately placed. The frame of her creation complete, Mariam fills the space with glass beads and stones, placing the first in the angle made with the twigs. The stones are delicately placed in a line, dotting their way through the channel made from twigs and lollipop sticks. Mariam extends the boundary of her work by embellishing each corner with a circle of wood punctuated with a glass bead. You finished. That's beautiful. Artist number three, Jake. The first piece placed, he picks up two wooden circles and quickly looks to see where they need to be. Sprinting to the opposite corner, he places and decorates them. Although offered the same resources as the girls, he is inspired by the cycle tyre, stepping clear of the twigs to place it in a clear area. The fervour of his work picks up. Jake selects large dried plant materials, dropping them inside the tyre so they form a mirror image of each other. Long green leaves emerge on a diagonal from the corner, most surplus leaves being moved away. But one more carefully selected. Now smaller scale infill with a scattering of beads. He told his teacher later that this represents the rain. Finally, a second tyre is painstakingly arranged on top of the other and the artwork viewed from a new angle. 